Hey, it's 1.49pm, so that must mean time for another video. Uh, Elizabeth Robertson here. Does anyone, and she's invoked me, unfortunately, know if we can export our group members' emails into a CSV or an Excel file? Hmm. It's not something that is uh, very obvious uh, how to do. You certainly can't do it from Outlook Webmail, but from the full Outlook client, you can do something sort of similar with a bit of um, mucking around. So uh, if you want to see how to do that, something similar with a bit of mucking around, let's jump right into it. Who is Elizabeth? Well, let's click on her name and over here it tells me that she is at Parramatta. So I don't know where at Parramatta exactly. I could probably look her up. Our ah, coordinator languages and culture. So it sounds like corporate office. Fair enough. Um, let's see roughly what the process is for doing this. So being in corporate office, you've probably got the full outlook, which is very helpful. Let's uh, jump over to email. And what you want to do is create a new email. Click the two box here and select your group that you want. So let's uh, say it's Rockdale Public School, for example. Rockdale Public School has got a whole bunch of groups that have um, been pre-created, their distribution lists. So if I wanted the one for school teachers at Rockdale Public School, for example, it's a matter of simply clicking, double clicking on that. It'll chuck it into the two box and we say, OK. And now what we've got is a thing that says you don't have permission to send this group, which I don't have. Um, this particular group contains about 36 people. Excellent. OK. If you click on this plus key here, what it does is, is if you expand the list, Outlook will replace the list with its members. You will not be able to collapse it again. OK, that's fine. And look, here is the list. So this is all the people that are in there. So the next thing I can do is uh, using my mouse, I can click and whoops, I don't know what I did then. I dragged the person the wrong way. But if I click and drag and select all, um, maybe I could have done that by just going clicking in here and going control A. Yes, I can do that. Um, and I go control C to copy it to the clipboard. Then what it's going to do is uh, allow me to go into something like Microsoft Word and start a new document and go control V to paste all of those names. Now, when you pasted them in, you'll notice it's just a big long string exactly as it was in here, which is not very helpful because if you're wanting a CSV file, you're not really going to get that very well out of this. <clears throat> but what we can now do is highlight all of those names and we can start doing some fancy things. So let's just make this a bit bigger so people can see and I'll move out of the way. Um, what we can do is you go to the replace box here and what you want to do is replace this semicolon here. So if we grab using this mouse, the semicolon and the space, copy it to the clipboard, paste it here. And what do you want to replace it with? Well, you want to go into this special character. And what you want to say is paragraph mark. So it's you're replacing the semicolon and the space with a paragraph mark, and you're telling it to replace all. And yes, we'll replace them all. It made 36 replacements. And now what I've got is instead of a semicolon, I've got everything on a separate line. Well, that's pretty good. Um, but I've also got the person's name and I've got a squiggly bracket and their email address and another squiggly bracket. Well, that's pretty useless. So what we then want to do is replace the space and the left semicolon, copy that to the clipboard and put that here. And what we want to do is replace that with a comma. And then we go replace all. And now we've got 37 replacements have been made where we've replaced that with a comma everywhere. The last thing that we want to do is get rid of this other little squiggle angle bracket at the end. So if we uh, highlight that and copy it to the clipboard, paste it here, and then replace that with nothing. Leave it blank and go not a space, but nothing. And then you go replace all. Yes. And OK. OK. So what that has now done is virtually made me a CSV file, uh, which is a comma separated file. It's, it's a name followed by an email address. So then if we select all of that, copy it to the clipboard and then start Excel up. 
we can click in here we can paste that in there and now what we've got is everything in a1 is the name comma email address well we don't want that comma there we want that to be separated into a comma column a and column b so how do we do that we select all of column a here we go to data we go to text to columns and we say it's delimited next it's not a tab but it's a comma and look at that it's split it up and I'll go next and yeah that's fine finish and now what I've got if I click here and then double click here I've got a nice list that's got names and email addresses and there it is in Excel so I hope that has helped to get Elizabeth to get exactly what she wants uh, I will post this video in her thread very shortly. Bye.